All right, Bob, just a couple things I wanted to just go over really quick with the radio. So this is your power setting. This, uh, when you press it in, it's a little hard to tell, but the amp is now on. And then if you press it out, it pops out, and then the amp is off, and that's the amp section. So <clears throat> the radio will do about 100 watts by itself, so the amp section's off. And I'm just using this uh, 636 right now because I'm listening to it through my other radio and it'll squeal like crazy with the other mic here. So uh, the mic gain is set to run it all the time, all the way up like it is. Um, RF power is all the way up. So if you turn this all the way down, it'll go way too low and it really won't even transmit on AM. So it usually starts about there. LSB, where it says LSB is about where it starts. So... Any lower than that, it's not going to work right. So, um, but I recommend even with the amp off, just run it all the way up. So I can show you really quick here. So let me do this. But we're going to key up with the amp off. The switch is off. So I have a hundred watt in there. So we're looking at the bottom. So it's reading correctly. It's about 10 watts all the way down. Well, I'm sorry, 10 watts with the RF power control all the way up, but the amp switch off. So, and then one, two, three, four. If I talk, it's going forward without any back swing, but there's no peak on. So, we turn the peak on, that's where you get your power. So, Okay, so one, two, three, four. You can see with me talking, um, it pretty much pegs out the hundred, but it, it's only maybe a couple watts more. So that's that's why it does that. If I put the light, like if I switch this over, there's a 500 on this side. So now we're gonna read in the middle. That's 300, 500, 10 is 100. So we'll do it again. One, two, one, two. So the 500 is a little less accurate on that lower scale, but hello radio, check, check, check. So more accurate when you go to the hundred but again one two three four it pretty much just pegs it so that's that part uh, now if we turn the amp section on and this I'm gonna leave it on so the amp will be on when you get your radio and turn it on the amp sections on I wish they would have done that a little bit better maybe and had like a light or something on it to tell you when the amp sections on because it is a little difficult to know but it is slightly uh, in it's hard to tell same here noise blankers on you hear it kind of double click when you press it in and then when it comes out it just makes one click so it does it goes like click click so that little click click that you hear is telling you that it's on same with the roger beep here here's the roger beep so roger beeps on so Okay, the amp section is off. Now it's on. So now this big uh, bottom amp is engaged. I'm just going to turn the mic gain off for a minute. So, again, we'll look here. Turn the peak off. So we're on the 100 watt scale again. I have the radio set to about 60 watts of dead key. They had it set crazy, like 150 watts out of the box. It's way too much. I, I don't like that. The radio will heat up way too fast. Um, 60 is perfectly fine and then when we talk I'll show you that it's still going forward even in the average so there's a mic gain and one two one two hello radio so it's not going forward that much but forward is good backwards is bad so that's good so I'll flick this over this is a 500 watt so we're looking in the middle 40 is 400, uh, right at the end is 500, so we'll throw this peak circuit on, key up the radio, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, check, 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 so it's doing about 400, almost 500, just depends, but uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, check, 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 hello, oh, like 480, maybe 490, somewhere in there, so it's doing really good, I'm going into that 1500 watt dummy load right there, so... And it's getting kind of hot, which it's supposed to, so 
One, two, one, two, check, 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 hello. So it's doing good. And again, the RF power control is all the way up. So if you lower that, let's just say to 12, whoop, let's just say to 12 o'clock here. So the amp section's still on, let's see what it does now. Um, we'll just leave that all the way up, we'll just see. One, two, one, two, it really doesn't lower it that much, so the radio's pretty much gonna swing the maximum no matter what. If I lower it way down, one, two, one, two, a little bit less now. Um, still kind of catching the peak a little bit there, but uh, a little bit less. And then all the, all, see right here, it's it's all the way down. You can see there, it, it pretty much shuts off the transmit, so you want to keep it about, line it up with that B or so, so one, two, one, two. So if you do that, it's gonna do slightly less now, you know, just a little bit less, but uh, I mean, there's really no point to run it that low. Um, you're better off just running it all the way up. If you wanna run lower power, just turn that switch out, and now you're gonna run essentially a 100 watt radio. So it's about a 100 watt radio on low. Um, it's almost a 500 watt radio on high, so. One, two, this is low power again, and you can see it's still doing just about 100 um, on that side right there. I got the 100 switch over to the 100, so hello, hello. So that's that part. Um, side band, it's a lower side band. I think it does over 100. One, two, one, two, actually a little bit less. So here we go, let's see. One, two. Just one second, let me get it clarified in. All right, so when you're on sideband, this is your clarifier, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is the people that you hear, you're gonna to wanna to turn this till they sound natural. Now, sometimes the counter doesn't stay on the five, and honestly, there's not really anything I can do with that. I have a line the radio frequency-wise, but these are not really meant to be accurate. It's just kind of a reference. So if I were to turn this, it will go to five, but now we'd be kind of off frequency a little bit transmitting. So one, two, one, two, one, two, check, check, one, two. So the goal is to be on frequency and how this radio is set up is the transmit and receive frequencies are to paired together with this dial. So when you hear people, you just turn the dial till they sound natural. So again, the mic gain's all the way up, the RF power's all the way up, the amp switch is off. So this is just like the radio part, not the amp. So the 100 watts here will be what we're looking at again. One, two, one, two, check, check, check. So it's about 70, maybe 75, 78 watts or so. You have to limit it a little bit more on sideband or else it gets really nasty sounding. So, and I'm listening to it on this uh, icon here. So one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, check, 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 hello. So it's right on frequency and it sounded pretty good. Um, I turn the amp switch on now, you'll I don't know if you can hear that, but the double click means it's on. So now we'll throw this over to our 500 size. Now we're looking in the middle again. And one, two, one, two, three, four, check, check. So now it's doing about 450 watts or so. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, hello radio. So essentially what that's doing, that amp section's giving you like one more S unit of signal because it's quadrupling your power. So, you know, if you're if you're having a hard time being heard or something, then you just click that switch on and that should bring you into someone's receive better. So uh, it, it is a very powerful radio, but unfortunately, you know, some of these guys are advertising power levels, which just aren't realistic for these. So I think the factory is right when they say about a 400 watt 400 plus watt radio that's about what we're seeing with a good uh, output and not too much you know you don't want to overdrive and take the amp section out in this it does come with a one-year warranty from Ranger so if you have any issues or anything something happens or something um, they will fix it the, the one thing is you got to send it to them when they're over in Ontario California so um, it is kind of a shipment. Uh, you have to pay the shipping as well. So, um, but they do. The guy does a great job. The guy that does the warranty for these actually designed the amp section for this radio, and he was part of the designer of this whole radio. So, he's really good. 
Uh, the name of the place is called Superior CB. They're in Ontario, California, and um, they do a really good job if there's ever any issues or anything. But this one's working really good, so... Just that uh, it won't go to the 5 and stay there. Now, it might, because I've had the cover off for a while, but I, I really don't think it will. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal, but, you know, when you transmit... It stays on the four. And realistically, sideband is 27, lower sideband is 27204000. So that's, you know, where you really are transmitting. It's not 205. So that's actually realistically correct. So let's check upper and just see where that's at really quick. All right, here's upper side. So that one's staying closer to the five digit. But again, it's probably going to vary with temperature and whatnot. The main thing is, is you just dial to the people how they sound. I'll put the antenna on really quick and show you how that works. But upper side, here's the power again. Five, the amp switch is on. One, two, one, two, three, four. So about 450 watts again right there. One, two, three, four. And again, we're just listening to it through this radio right here. It's sounding really good. So uh, here's FM. FM right here. So the amp switch is on. And we're in the 500 watt scale. So it is doing about 180 watts on FM. So it's quite a bit less, but I mean, you don't want this thing to be doing 400, 450 watts. It, it won't last. And I can't adjust that. That's basically how it came. So I don't see any adjustments or anything in there. So, I mean, 180 watts or so on FM is a lot of power. So, and the RF power dial doesn't do anything on FM. You can turn the amp off and then it's going to do a lot less. Let's see what it's going to do now. So with the amp off, it's doing about 30 watts, which is about right for a radio like this. So uh, amp off, 30 watts, amp on. 180 watts so that's like six times multiplication so it's almost a whole it's like an s unit and a half of increase on signal so that's huge so so that's what it's doing fm we can try to listen to it really quick one two one two so one two one two so these are, you know, known to be the, the best sounding radios on FM. They are very uh, clean sounding and acceptable, but, you know, the Striker may have a better sound to you on FM. And again, this is the 636 mic. So let me, let me plug the other mic in and show you. Okay, here's the other mic. It does sound a lot better, so it's probably going to squeal, though. So one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. Just a lot clearer and a lot more, uh, I don't know what, how I would say it. I can think of it in my head, but it sounds a lot more uh, brighter sound to the modulation. Just more more of my voice, higher uh, quality sound anyways. This is FM. So, so yeah, it's a nice radio. It's very powerful and pretty easy to use you have a dimmer control here you can dim down the light you have a talk back control right here uh, I'm not sure how well that works one two one two one two one two so one two one two it's not the best but again you're using this little dinky speaker in here with this big amp section they can't can't put a really big speaker so you might want to run an external speaker if you have one probably get a better sound out of it. It's got echo, um, does all kinds of crazy stuff. One, one, two, one, two. Hello. hello. So it does all kinds of crazy stuff there. And this is your SWR check right here. So you press that button in and it will go to the meter here, SWR. So that's good. Um, it doesn't have any need for calibration. The meter that they put in shows a calibrate, but it's auto, auto SWR. So you just key the mic. Roger, beep. 
little Roger beep you can turn on and off, noise blanking and all. And that's really it. It's pretty basic. The selling feature of this radio is the high power. So um, I'm going to turn the talk back off. You know, I leave the dimmer. I usually run them. I mean, I w I've never had one of these, but if I did, I would run it there. I wouldn't run it all the way up. It's just going to, the life of these bulbs and stuff are going to greatly be reduced. I would run it a little more conservatively. But uh, yeah, it's it's working good. So um, here's the power with the mic. It doesn't give you any more power or anything. It's got a, a fan that's built into the bottom. So what you want to make sure is that, you know, it's. I think it's designed to be sat down. I have one of these little stands here. They're really handy. You can find these on eBay. And it fits on there really nice. Although it will slide side to side. But otherwise it sits on there pretty good. And uh, I got it hardwired right here. To some hard wires going to my supply. So... As long as you give it a good voltage, 13.8, 14 volts, it should be fine. And it's not drawing as much amperage as I thought it would. Honestly, I was a little surprised on that for the amount of power it's doing. So um, I think that, you know, what you have, I think you said you have a 50 amper. That should be plenty. So let's see real quick here on AM, how it sounds with this mic. One, two. Oh. One, two. Oh, I'm in sideband. There we go. One, two, one, two. Check, check. So yeah, it's feeding back and stuff, but it's uh, it's still doing good. One, two, three, four. That's AM power again right there at the 500 watt. One, two, three, four. And then sideband. One, two, what? Just a second. All right, sideband right here. One, two, one, two, check, check, check. One, two, three, four. 450 watts. So it's working really good. All right, this is the sideband. So this is what I was talking about. If you, if you move that, you can hear they don't sound natural. There you go. Or if you turn this way, you can see what it does. So that's how that works. Pretty easy. If they sound natural to you, you'll sound natural to them.